Side cross switch. Mm. Side outside. Food. Oh. He moves back. All right, guys. Take one. <laughs> oh. For the knee. Three. Hup. Push it. Mm. Okay. Shadow, I just want you to focus first on the stance, the proper stance that we have in Moe Fimo. I'm going to square my opponent. Very important. I'm always squaring. All right, I don't want to stand at the side, yeah? That's definitely not the position of a Fimo. Yeah, you don't want to expose that. You don't want to be um, like that because that corrupts my movement. I can't really move if I'm like this. I need to be in front of my opponent, nice and tall. What I want to do as well is to keep 20% of my body weight forward and tall. I don't want to keep my body weight on my back leg like this. That will correct mm. movement again. And if it starts to go more, I'm just going to do this. Mm. And that's it. I be he becomes very dominant. I can't move anymore. So make sure that, look at that, you stay on the ball. All right, man, guys, that's a very, that's a detail that I want you to focus on today. Every fundamental, we're going to build the, the session upon them. Okay, so this, this is one of the main things that we're learning today. Yeah, trying to keep that foot off the ground, the, the heel off the ground to, to use it as a rebound. Yeah, sometimes I take space. Yeah, and I can use it again to step in. See that? I use it again. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out. Take this angle. Pop. Use that step. Use it to block. Use it to kick back. Use it to move. All right? So see that? The more I'm controlling my body weight here, the more my, my footwork would be efficient. Like most of you guys, I saw you throwing strikes or throwing whatever, and then right after you, you're not composed. And that's the, that's the worst moment not to be composed. That's when they counterattack. And that's when they're going to get dominant. So I need to be ready. To, 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 to move and to control the range wherever they attack us, all right? So first, I'm gonna show you the weapons I use to control the fundamentals. So first of all, the range control. Range control, long range control. That's so important to control for Moe Fimo. And also my own body, my body weight, okay? Because if I control the range properly, but I don't control myself, he will use it against me, yeah? So if I control my range properly, he comes to me, he's an aggressive fighter and I start to have my body weight mm. there, that's it, he's gonna come and mm. then I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna end up being stuck and not being strong on my defense. So whenever he comes, whoop, I keep that composure, yeah? Take him to the side. Those are basic fundamentals of footwork I will show you here quickly, mm. yeah? How to drive your opponent. So first of all, we're nice and we, we stay in front, whoop, we look for, you know, we're gonna play with the jab, measure the range. That's my longer, that's my longer range as possible. I check on, where do you check your range, guys? On his, on his mm -hmm. forehead or on his guard? guard? His guard, well done. Yeah, nobody says forehead, right? Don't check on the forehead. Forehead is to here. It's a one step range. So if I'm here, I check. Look, I just need one step, boom, to get to his head. Yeah, and I can come out. Straight away, I have to come out, yeah? If I jab and he moves back, whoop, I'm ready to continue. But not too much. See that, guys? I'd be careful what I give. Because that might be a trick. He might just move back, whoop, to cross or kick. And that's what I'm going to do against him right now. Mm. So I don't want to fall in the, in the only thing I'm going to I'm trying to make him fall into. Make sense, guys? All right, so we're starting here. Poop, I'm going to play with that and different jabs as well. Poop, little smack. Yeah, and then boom, stab inside. Check, check, stab inside. And then move. Ah, and see that angle differently now? I'm going to start to work with my left one. Rather than taking the, the angles right in front of him, if it comes to me, I'm not going to do this because mm. here I'm still inside his range. I want to control the long one. Mm. If he's very good at clinch or an aggressive fighter, he will punish me for that. Mm. Yeah, come to me and I just move there. Boom, he's there. Boom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat a knee. I'm going to eat elbows. Mm. He's going to start to be dominant. So whenever he comes close, yeah, I'm going to take this angle. See that? Rather than taking the step here and turning around him, I'm going to turn around the circle I want to turn around. Mm. Here I take, boom. See that? I'm still in my range. One more time. We're going to add also the little inside low kicks, yeah, to check the range. Boop, and see that I'm not coming in on them. Boom. I'm straight away um, exposed to the cross. I'm going to throw it there. Boop. If the cross comes, I'm out. So see when I throw that kick, I'm ready to take it away. Remember, it's after. So I'm already thinking about what's going to happen. I just want to provoke him on that kick. I know he's going to punch it. Bam, bam. Mm. I come, play with my jab, to stabilize him one more time, pump the jab two times, and then kick. It's all about the angle. One, two, pop, pop, and I go to switch. That was easy, and I keep moving. Pop, pop, I look for him, then I move. So yeah, I force him to come, take him to this side. Look at that cross, I'm gonna show you that footwork quickly. I like to do that when I take them to the side. So I go one, hoop, jab, one, cross, and from there I switch. Yeah, again, pop, pop, side, pop, side, cross, switch. Mm. Ah, and then we can just look for this one. Move, outside, outside, jab, move. 
mm, when he comes. Mm. Boop, boop. And I play. Mm. Ah, sh boop. When he comes. He was setting up very simple, easy strikes. But it's after. See what he, do he was doing now? He was always kind of pushing. He's looking for me, right? He's staying in his range. Sometimes he's going to be more aggressive. Sometimes he's going to come for a jab cross, for example. So if I throw him that kick here, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. make sure that you go and try to get your opponent. What, you, what I want to do is to make him off range. Make sense? So if I'm here, I throw a jab, he go jab cross, boom, boom. and that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm in the perfect range for kicks. So one of the best defense sometimes is just footwork. But I need to be precise. Yeah. Boom. Jab cross. Boom. Boom. I know when to stop, and I know I don't do this. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what most, most people do. When they, when they walk back and they kick, they kick off balance. Right, mm. coach? That happens all the time. And this is what we want to focus on here. It's basic, but we look for the perfect basics. If I go away from those punches, oh, one, oh. two. When I switch, I'm still here, guys. I'm not switching there. One, oh. two, switch. Because oh. if it just does that, that's it. The kick is missed and also you're kicking with your foot. Mm. So it's not maximized. I want to maximize my scoring. Two, One, two. two. Mm. I stay tall. I provoke him. Pop, pop. Mm. Ah, come with your jab cross. Come on. Two, uh, two. Make him miss. Mm. Boom. Mm. And you continue. Ah. Poop. Mm. Take him all the side. Cross. Hoop. Ah. I was playing with cross a bit. See? Here. And then I change direction. Kick here. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Side, side, cross. Change direction, kick up, Ooh, mm -hmm. bop, bop, bop. play with the jab. Out again, see? I take him to those directions, left and right, and I keep changing. Yeah? I have a question, coach. Yes? Um, what are they doing? What are we doing if I get too close to you? If you're trying to keep your range, yeah. but we so, just started doing this, and I get here. It depends what you're doing, what you're going to do. If you come as a Muay cow, then I will have clinch anticipation. Okay. So I will kind of accept your clinch. We're going to do that after, yeah, those okay. situations. But the best way and is this with the jab? It's with the, the jab and the, the angles. But make okay. sure the footwork, yeah. But like if you come too close, boom, boom. I can jab as I move back. See that? Boop. See when I jab, I throw my back one. Mm. Yeah, I know, yeah. Like you said, coach, straight away. Ooh. Mm. That's an easy way, again, to set up a nice, a nice kick. And I can switch from there. He comes very aggressive. Boop, boop. Ooh. Mm. Uh, and again, back, boop, back. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Yeah. And I can't even touch you after. Ah, yeah, I get the space and I'm mm. still on my back foot after. If I feel the ropes, yeah, boop, 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 mm -hmm. straight away, uh. get an angle. Ah, I need to get back to the corner and I'm back at it. Ah, defense, pop, pop. See that? I change my guard sometimes. Yeah, but I don't do it like fully where I hush, hush. You don't mm. want to mark it. Some people do that when they switch guards, right? You want to avoid that. You want to, you want to keep, um, you, want, you just want to mirror. You want to keep the same, the same control, you know? Because mm. here I'm in control. Mm. If, I do the, if I go there, I must be in control as well. Yeah? Ah. Ah. Take him to the side. Mm. Ah, this side. I switch, switch. Uh, switch. Uh, uh, Ooh. Uh, Ready uh, to defend. Pop, pop. Uh, See what I did? I took him here. I switched, but then I re-switched to the other side. So that's what I want you to come with now. Variations. 